Good morning. It's me again and I'm home and it's before lunchtime and I couldn't be happier. It is so, so, so nice to be back in my own bed. Uh, getting into the house was hilarious. Um, getting home was hilarious because where we live there's loads of humps in the road so my mum had to go over all of those humps and of course there were so many like um dips out of the road too so um it was a bit painful but we got there in the end and then I live in an upside down house so I have so many so many stairs to go up and there's even stairs outside the house to get up into the house so that was a challenge but I got there and I'm just taking today as a positive day. I'm not going to I'm not going to be down today. And I got home and got in my jammies, so I'm much more happier. It's just getting comfy in bed. Um I did buy loads of V pillows and stuff. Um the one I got from Amazon is far 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 too big. I don't like it. Well, I don't like it today. I might like it um as things progress, but today it's just too uncomfy to get in and out of. So I've propped myself up um, on my V pillow. My own pillows are underneath. And this is a little spare pillow that we have. And I've got some pillows underneath my legs as well. So this is just the way I'm going to have to be. Um, I've just had a wee drink there as well. And I'm due to take my meds again at 12 o'clock. So I'm looking forward to those. Imagine being looking forward to painkillers. And yeah, I have my auntie sickness home with me as well. So that'll keep all that sickness at bay. I just, I couldn't do that again. That was absolutely barbaric yesterday. Um, It was just the pain. I can't even describe the pain. It's just like you're absolutely on fire whenever you throw up and you've had a muscle repair. It was so, so, so painful. And I really, really, really couldn't go through that again. Very sore. Um, I just messaged my surgeon there as well because I actually didn't realise I don't have a dressing on across my wound and I thought he was going to put um, a dressing on but there isn't one there so I have just um, sent him a message on an app that um, the Kingsbridge is called Healy so I'm just going to wait and see what he says because um, in terms of having a shower and stuff I just want to ask can I have a shower now because I don't have addressing on if that makes sense so I'll just wait to hear back from him and see what he says but I think I'm just going to go and watch tv there's nothing really else I can do I don't really want to sleep too much today and as my mum said I want to sleep tonight and get back into you know at home kind of mode so I don't want to sleep too much today even though I probably will have a doze later on this afternoon and um, whenever I take my codeine because it does make me sleepy but until then, I think I'll just watch TV and flick through Facebook and just relax, which is very strange for me to do, seeing I have, as I have six kids, sitting back and relaxing is going to be a bit strange, but it's got to be done. And it's so important whenever you have a tummy tuck to relax. That's the one thing that they stress over and over again is to give this big, this big wound time to heal and knit and repair itself. So I really do ha just have to kick back and chill. But I'm going to go watch some TV and I'll check in with you guys later. I'm just going to attempt uh, my first shower. Excuse the loo roll there. I just brought that up. So we're on day three post-op. I didn't really um come on here much yesterday. Uh, just wanted a break and wanted to get used to being at home again. Today's a good day. I slept really well um, and I got up with Stuart this morning and had my breakfast which really helped and then I had a shower which just made me feel like a million dollars. One thing I did do during the night and I would say to anybody who has a tummy tuck write notes down or even any sort of medication on what your meds take. Um, I think I double dosed during the night. I was in so much pain I just rolled over, took meds and then um, retook them again this morning which was a bit silly. So I've had to pull back on my meds a bit which means I'm in a fair bit of pain at the minute but at three o'clock um, this afternoon I can start again um, and get back on my normal dosage which is good. Having a shower was amazing as I said there. Um, I was a bit worried about going in myself my mum kind of floated around outside, but just that shower and feeling the water on me was just absolutely glorious. Never underestimate the simple things in life. And I think this surgery has really, really taught me that. And by the way, I've said really, really a lot. I watched some of the videos there from the hospital 
and it does make me laugh how many times I say really in some of them so I apologise for that. I'm just lying up in bed, watching TV, chilling out. Um, obviously I've got nothing planned, can't do anything. I'm getting up every hour and walking about. My mum changed my TED stockings obviously because I had to take them off for the shower. And that was a struggle and a half for her getting them back on. Felt so sorry for her because obviously I can't bend forward and get them on. Yesterday I am... Um, no, it wasn't yesterday. The day, I, oh, it was yesterday. I came out of hospital with one of the hospital binders on, and this morning I was able to get into my own garment, and it's made me feel so much better as well. It makes me feel so much more secure, because it's a lot more tighter. And I also asked in one of the groups about back pain because my back was so 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 sore yesterday, and they said about um a heat pad. You know the little heat pads that you get that you plug in. It's like a mini electric blanket. My mum had one of those and she brought it over and oh my god it is game changing. So if you're having any abdominal surgery I 100% recommend that you get a heat pad because it really helps with the back pain. In terms of how I slept last night um, I got the big pillow out again. The one that I said yesterday I wasn't going to use. I got it back out. My lovely daughter came in and spent about half an hour with me trying to rearrange the bed and we got it to the point where I was really comfortable and I was really, really glad of that. Any other way that I was lying, it was just far too uncomfortable and it really, really, really hurt my back. So I have this wrapped down around me um, like an S and then in underneath um, my legs because you have to keep your legs up, especially when you have a tummy tuck to keep uh, the pressure off your incision. I have had a look, look at my incision as well. It all looks really, really good and clean. And I'm nearly standing straight, which is another massive achievement. I definitely couldn't stand straight yesterday, but I'm really trying, not forcing myself, but I'm trying to make myself stand a little bit straighter. And you can definitely see today that that is happening and that is helping with my back pain a lot. One of the girls in the group said as well, her consultant told her to stand against a wall a couple of times a day and try and stretch herself out and she had minimal back pain and I can now see why that would work. The more hunched over you stay, the more your back gets sore. Anything else really to update you on? Not really. I have been downstairs, which has been nice, just kind of seeing a different environment. I've sat on the sofa. We do have two dachshunds that love the jump on me, so I'm a bit scared about going downstairs just in case they do come over and jump on me, but we're just trying to be really careful. So I have gone for a little mooch downstairs and that has been nice and it's made me feel a little bit better. Yesterday, I did go downstairs and I did nearly pass out not good um that wasn't good at all i think i had kind of pulled back on my fluids a lot in hospital because i was so scared of being sick again and my fluid intake was really low so i upped that and it made me feel so much better so another thing i would say is keep your fluids going as much as you can and drink 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 doesn't matter if you have to get up and go to the loo more um Definitely for your blood pressure, keep the fluids going in. Apart from that, I am on my arnica as well, and that will help with the swelling and bruising. And bromelain, I think it's called, and that is a pineapple enzyme. I started it this morning as well, and you have to take three of those a day. And with your arnica, you have to take two tablets every two hours for the first six doses, and then... I'll need to ch check um, what dosage you move to after that. I think it's maybe just a few times a day. But hopefully that will help with the bruising because I am pretty bruised. It's actually quite nice being able to see everything now. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty bruised around um, the tummy tuck scar. And not so much around my belly button, just so much around, just around my tummy tuck scar. So that'll be nice if that bruising kind of disappears and maybe it helps with the swelling too. I did order another Faha. I'm in a garment and I ordered a Faha and it has the the straps. It's like a, a full body suit. I ordered that because I thought that this garment was a little bit too small and it's not actually. So that's coming later on today and it actually has the hole cut out so that you don't need to undo anything to pee. So I think I'll slip into that later because it's easier. This garment is a pain in the butt trying to get the um the class undone to try and pay it's not good because you're trying to put your hand through to grab the back of it 
that hurts your tummy that is not a good idea they should definitely make um that fastening or that um little bit of material longer there's no way that it, that that's good you know reaching in and out and trying to lift the back bit so hopefully whenever that um faha comes later i will get it on and it will make things a little bit easier I'm also waiting for my daughter coming back. She has gone to the shop to get some stuff and I'm going to have a little bit of a sandwich. And then I actually have a, a phone meeting at two o'clock this afternoon. So I'm going to do that and I feel good enough to do that. So that's fine. But apart from that, there is nothing really else to update you on. Um, I think you can maybe say I've turned a little bit of a corner. I don't want to say too much as I've said numerous times. I'm scared in case I scared myself, but yeah, I do feel a little bit better today. Just obviously in pain because I made that massive boob during the night um, and I'll never do that again. Um, I have everything written down now on paper uh, when I have to take things and I can even set an alarm on my phone if needs be. But I think I'll show you um, my garment um, and the way it's on just with me lying in bed and then later on I'll show you my bed setup. It'll just kind of give you an idea of how many pillows and stuff you'll kind of need for afterwards because you do need a lot. You do need to be comfy and you do need to be supported. And if you don't have that support, you are going to get very, very sore. And I will warn you about that now. I'm not trying to be melodramatic. You just need to be well supported. And I didn't fully appreciate how supported you, you must be you have to be supported it helps with that back pain so so much so i'll quickly show you um my garment now and then i will update you in terms of like my bed and stuff and anything else that happens the rest of the day but apart from that we're doing well we're doing good fingers crossed so this is my garment it's got little poppers down there as i was saying um they're quite difficult to undo and then I've been lying my legs across the bottom of um of my cushion, which really helps with elevation and to take the pressure off the tum. I'll try and get a picture later when I'm standing up and let you see everything when I'm standing up. But that's it for now. Good morning. We are day four and I'm up. Well, I have been up. Um, I've been pottering up and down the stairs as much as I can. But I'm home alone today. So, well, I've been home alone this morning. My mum um, had prior commitments. So... I've sort of been looking after myself today, which has been nice. It means that I've had to get up and do some stuff. Although, um, Stuart did make me my breakfast before he went to uh, work this morning, which was nice. So I had some porridge before I took my medication. I'm definitely not risking taking medication on an empty tum-tum. -tum, not after the sickness from the other day. But yeah, I'm going to go and put in a micro dinner. I have been having pretty plain food like chicken sandwiches and porridge and toast. So I'm going to try something a little bit different today. I'm getting a bit bored. Um, Iceland have some of those, um, the gym protein meals. So I got some of those and I think I'm going to go and pop a mac and cheese one in. I just watched um, a little vlog there and the YouTuber was making mac and cheese. So it kind of put me in the mood. My next aim for today is to try and tackle my hair. Um, it's five days since it's been washed. It's looking pretty greasy and grim. I didn't do it in the shower yesterday simply because I wanted to get in and out and I was just worried because it was the first time I'd really been up and in the shower. So I really, um, I really didn't want to spend the length of time that I need to wash my hair in the shower yesterday. And I didn't want to have a shower today, especially as I'm here by myself. So I did give myself a really, really good wash this morning. Um, but yeah, the hair is the next thing that I need to tackle, which uh, I'm not looking forward to. I'm definitely going to try and do it over the sink. But we'll see how we go. I'm not putting any pressure on myself at all. Nobody can see me apart from Stuart and the kids. And I really don't think that they care that my hair is a little bit greasy. I do have on... Um, a vest underneath my nightie here. I have found that putting a vest on underneath my garment is so much more comfortable and it stops it from digging in and leaving marks. So that's just another wee tip. Um, if you're going to have a tummy tuck, you could maybe put a vest top on and then put your garment or binder on top. And I have found that um, that's worked really, really well for me. It might not for you, you know, things that I have seen and I thought that would be brilliant for me haven't worked for me. So it, it is very much... Um, a learning curve 
But yeah, I'm going to go and pop some lunch in the micro and I'll show you what I'm going to have just in case you can get these sort of things um, near you. And I do know that protein is recovery. So I'm trying to have as much protein as I can in the form of protein bars and now this protein meal. So I'll catch you in a bit. Good morning my loves, how are we all? It's been a few days since I've been on here having the chat to you. Nothing has changed at all, everything's pretty much the same. I have decided to get up now and I've moved downstairs. The dogs are staying away from me which is great, that was my main concern, them jumping up and down on me and they're staying away from me. Pain wise, pretty much good, um, still get some odd twinges here and there but it's nothing that's not manageable without um, some paracetamol and I'm now off the codeine. One thing I wanted to touch on today was the fact that I said in one of my other videos that I didn't have a dress on across my scar and I do. My surgeon came back to me and said I had mesh on. Um, one of the nurses that discharged me said that I didn't, but he said I did. And whenever we took a close up picture of my incision, you could definitely see the mesh there. So it was all system shower, which was absolutely amazing. Having a shower after having the tummy tuck is fabulous. It's like having a shower after you have a baby. It's fantastic. I was able to get my hair washed and I've been able to shower a few times now, which has been lovely. I'm going to show you my scar today, um, so if you don't want to see that, uh, don't really watch anymore. I'm going to insert a before picture, what he took off and what my scar looks like now. I just think it's important to compare and you will notice a difference, like the difference is vast. But I think um, for comparison for you guys, it's nice to see what I was like before and what I'm like now. And then from today, we can kind of document how my scar progresses and how my treatment goes from now. I'm not seeing anybody for another week next Monday. I go to see the nurse to have um, this mesh taken off and then we'll be able to look at the scar then and see what way it's sort of healing, if I have any open bits, etc. Hopefully not. Um, yeah, I don't want any open bits and I really hope that it's begun to knit together, which hopefully it has, hopefully it has. Let's keep things positive. But yeah, I'm going to show you the way I look today. Uh, I have on a vest top and some underwear, so I'm just going to lightly pull down my underwear so I don't show too much. You don't need to see too much and I'll show you the scar. There is a lot of bruising as well, but that has actually um, decreased and it's now gone very yellow, which is lovely to see. So I'll pop up these um, before pictures on what he took off me now and the next clip you see will be of my scar today. So this is the way I am looking one week post-op. There's been a lot of bruising on this side here as you can see and pretty much minimal bruising on this side. This is where I had my drain in here and they put a little dressing on and said just to keep it on. Um, if it comes off, they've given me spares, but it hasn't come off at this point. So it's just there. As you can see, the tape, which I was talking about, that has a little bit of discoloration from my vest tops. And this is my new belly button. I'm very excited to see what it looks like underneath this. And you can see the tape that just runs around here. So definitely a huge, huge, huge um, transformation compared to the way I was. Definitely a flatter stomach. That said, I am very, very, very swollen. Very swollen in here and very swollen across here. I do have feeling from here out. I didn't have that until yesterday. So I'm starting to get feeling back, which is lovely. And I'm numb the whole way around here and from here down. So hopefully you can see um, the big difference in my body now. I'm absolutely delighted about how I'm looking at the minute, even with the swelling. But I'm going to leave this video here for today and I'm going to pick up a new vlog and we will start working from one week out. I also want to really show you what I look like whenever I get my mesh off at the doctor's surgery next week. I think that'll be really interesting to show you guys too. But yeah, apart from that, um, I'm going to leave it today and thank you so much for watching.